And this is the new study, the new report right here. And there's some scary stuff in here. The number of children drowning is going up now at its highest levels since 2011. We often talk to you about pool safety here, but now more kids are dying in open water, ponds, lakes, and oceans than in pools. And it turns out so many of us parents are making a key mistake, thinking, well, my kid can swim just fine in the pool, so they'll be fine in the lake or ocean, too. It's not true. This morning, the five simple things you can do to lower your child's risk. When it happens, there is nothing worse. Children suddenly drowning while having fun. Just this month, a 12-year-old boy fishing with friends in this New Jersey lake, going under, never coming back up. Last summer, these two teenagers were sucked out into the ocean. And this morning, Safe Kids releasing a big new study drownings are on the rise. An estimated 1,000 children dying in 2016, a 14% increase from the previous year. Who's most at risk? Boys, making up eight in 10 fatal drownings. According to the study, race and ethnicity are major factors too. American Indian and African American children nearly double the risk of drowning versus white children. But most surprising of all, it's not babies or even toddlers in the most danger. Drowning risk increases with age. 15 to 19 year olds making up nearly half of all open water deaths. So how can you protect your children? We're about to show you. This is Wyatt Warneth with the American Lifeguard Association. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. No problem. It. And this is your, your friend's son, right? He's our next door neighbor, Keelan, nine okay. years old. Okay, you know how to swim in the ocean, yes. right? Okay, perfect. But you say there are five things that all of us should make sure our kids know how to do before we let them swim in the open ocean. We should all test them. Absolutely, there are definitely five things that every parent should have their kids do as a test before they take them out into the open water. What are they? What's tip number well, one? Well, number one, we're ready to go. We're going to go jump into the water. Go in there. Go. Jump in over his head. He's going to come back to the surface. Okay, so you just want to make sure they can get in over their head and come back up. That's right. He needs to come. It's a controlled ascent and descent. Okay. That way we know that they have that capability. Tip number two. Tip number two is... He's going to, at this point, he's going to, to turn around and he's going to orientate himself to someone on the beach or someplace that he can swim back to safely. So th that's to make sure that he can find his mom at, because the water will pull you this way and that way. You want to make sure he can sit on a point. Absolutely. Today's a longshore current. It's a great example. He needs to make his way back to where he went in. Tip number three. Tip number three is he wants to tread water or float on the surface and show confidence that he can do that. So how long do you want a child to do that for to show you? Well, a confident manner is about 30 seconds to 60 seconds, about a minute, and that'll show that he has the confidence to be in the open water. Okay, what's number four? Tip number four is you want to make sure that they can swim in a forward motion with their head up, breathing. So not just underwater, you want to make sure they can swim like this. Absolutely. Heads up, aware, and have the strong ability. Number five. Number five is make their way to the shoreline and get out on their own safely. Okay, so he's able to do it and fight it. Nice job, buddy. Nice Good job, man. All right, so this will help keep your child safe. Absolutely. This is the ABCs of swimming and water confidence. And remember, open water has a lot of hidden dangers. There is a current, there are riptides, sudden drop-offs, even rocks and vegetation getting in your way. It's important to keep in mind as you're going swimming this holiday weekend. And like I said, we talk about pools a lot, yeah. but a pool is still. You can see everything at a pool. Yeah. The ocean so many variables. What unpredictability. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Great tips. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jeff. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.